Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. And I said Disneyland isn't a faulty Scottish aircraft. Oh, hello, and welcome to this week's episode of Chewing the Cud. What, what's the look for? Was that joke sponsored Disneyland. by 1984? <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. Disneyland. Yeah. What have you got for us this week, Lee? Um, I have you know, the usual, the usual that old talk, stuff about drag queens, an old Doctor Who that's back, cause celebrity competitions. See, you're allowed to do Doctor Who now. I'm allowed to. Yes, because it there's no spoilers. I've seen them all. Ah, but you don't know if it's about the next one. Well, you won't know what's happening in the next one. I have ways. You have no ways. I have all the ways. You have all the ways of an incompetent... I was going to say chicken, but that's what I was sticking with. <laughs> <laughs> And also, we're going to be having a game show and we're going to be doing Crafty Queens because I know that's your favourite bit of the whole series. We've even got a game you can join along with as well. On screen now, you can see all of our social media. Just look for at the Cud TV. And as the names of people who have popped up in our social media scroll along the bottom of the screen, it's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> How do you feel about otters? The animal or the homosexual variant? Both. Um, I prefer the animal, not in a sexual way, <laughs> but as like, in ooh, general. Slippery, <laughs> slippery little, ooh, yeah. you slippery <laughs> little babble, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, not like that, because they're cute. They're cute. In an, an animal way. I, I find them both cute. Okay. Ways. One of the, I would shag, but not the. Bestiality. No, 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 not the, not the waterborne variety. Okay. Yeah, just the... yeah. Anyway, um, you say they're cute. They can actually be quite vicious. Yeah. Right. Um, as one woman has found out to her peril, right, oh, as no. she's been attacked by otters. Oh, no. The way she's getting over this is to burn effigies of otters. <laughs> so well, what the, Look at a ravaged face. Ravaged by otters. Okay. Um, she's been... Um, basically, she upset an otter. How? How do you think she upset an otter? She had its face in its way. No, but where? Was she in a zoo? Was she just walking? In the wild, in the wild. In the wild? In the wild, yeah. Well, what does she expect? Exactly. Um, <laughs> but so it's, it's attacked to its bit, it's bitten one of her ears off. <laughs> How fing close? Well, obviously, really close. <laughs> really close. For it to bite her ear off. Yes. Um, but the way she's dealt with it is to burn these effigies, right? Well, if it gets her through. Well, I thought, you know what, for trauma reasons, that might be really impressive and that sort of mm. thing. And then I saw the picture of how she's burning the effigies. Okay. Let's like see the effigies she's bought. Yes. <laughs> They're just stuffed toys. <laughs> Some of That's them are a squirrel. Of... <laughs> it's, not even a, it's not even an otter. <laughs> she's just burning stuffed toys. <laughs> okay. So she's been Do doing we this think with she friends. may have mental health problems? Well, she got attacked by otters, so yeah. <laughs> One, she went wandering in the countryside and went, oh, hello, Ot. Did she think she was Snow White? Did she think <laughs> she was literally could talk to the animals and they were like... Mee, mee, mee. <laughs> <laughs> she could talk to the animals. She just said something very offensive and wanted to talk to Oh, well, dear me. It's not the fault of the otters. It's not a fault of the otters, no. no. Um, or the stuffed ones. No. But I'm thinking stuffed animals like toys... They release toxins when they're burnt. Yes. So she's doing more damage to the world. Mm. Will she ever have her face again? I don't care. You don't care? It's her own fault. Just a ravaged face. Exactly. Absolutely destroyed it was. I wonder if that, that otter was on cocaine. Because quite often many animals in the uh, wild are on cocaine. According to the movies. According to the, the films, yeah. 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 Smack rabbit. Smack rabbit. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, that is still our, our Cracoon. Cracoon. Yeah. What's it, cocaine bear? Cocaine bear. Yeah. Um, off it's it tits off us, <laughs> otters. <laughs> off it tits otters. It's just a smorgasbord of class A drugs. <laughs> Heroin beaver. Heroin beaver. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Because <laughs> that could be that could be a beaver in like a female. Yeah. Superhero. Or. Oh yeah, yeah. Beaver. Beaver on crack. A heroin. Hero. Is crack not the same as heroin? Different. Right in, if you know. Crack is cocaine-based. Heroin is an opiate-based. Oh, OK. They're both very Moorish. Whatever gets nature off. <laughs> Whatever gets you through. Whatever gets yeah. you through the day. Um, so, um, shall we move on a bit from animals getting off the tits? Yeah, and, and we also say we, we don't condone drug-taking in the nature animals. Perhaps if you're a horse, that's fine. 
Um, ketamine. <laughs> ketamine for horses. Yeah, um, but apart <laughs> yeah. from that, nothing Excuse else. Excuse me, sir. Are you Don't a take horse? it. Don't do drugs for kids. <laughs> or otters. Or squirrels. Hedgehogs. Guinea pigs. Guinea pigs are renowned for it. Oh, yeah. Highly aggressive drug takers. Yeah. yeah. Um, shall we move on? Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is a story about a, a politician who has scandalised um, as in Paraguay. Paraguay. Para Paraguay. That was, that's how they say it. <laughs> is it? Paraguay. The you native, because obviously I am. Uh, um, so Paraguay. Um, and basically he's been caught making up different countries okay. to sell contracts to. Right. So taking a leaf from like possible politicians over here, mm. PPE, basically creating companies and going, countries, and going, mm. oh, look, we've signed a big deal with this country. And then what? Made up. And then pocketing the cash. Oh, okay. Are they sensible names? What do you mean, the sensible names? Like, believable. What do you think? They're not, they're, it's like, what, see, what names has he come up with? Um, Butt cheek. Butt cheek nation and stuff like that. Oh, butt cheek nation. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh that sounds oh. like a that sounds like a film I once saw. Sounds like a lovely place for dinner. Um, <laughs> so he 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 didn't just make it up. He he created a website. Oh, he created all sorts a lot of work of, to he go put to. A lot of work behind it. <laughs> he, the United States of Kaliaska. Okay. Well, yeah. Kaliaska what? I don't know what you're Kaliaska. trying. Oh, okay. Kaliaska. See what right. Okay. I see. Like, are they like? Are they? Are they as hilarious as that one? The rest of them. Yes. Great. Yeah. What else? Um, no, it's just the one. The United um, States of Bend Over. <laughs> with its twin country, Phil McCracken. <laughs> <laughs> no, the president will be Phil McCracken. Oh, <laughs> the president of Bend Over is Phil McCracken. Is Phil McCracken? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You're happy with that? Let's though. set that one up. Okay. Let's see how much we can get for that. <laughs> so, so want to fill your cracking, not yeah. much. Um, and if you want to fill these cracking, feel free to do so at the Could TV, where I don't monitor the account. And now it's time for our story of the week. You like a spider, don't you? No. Oh, you do. I don't like any spider. Small spiders. Small spiders, yeah. I'm, I'm down with them. This is a story about tiny spiders. No, it's not. It's about some giant spider in no, there. It's a, a, tiny spiders. Well, they go have on to then. be tidy. Um, as a gentleman was on a cruise with his wife. I think <laughs> I know this story. What did the face change for? Did it get in his bell end? No. Oh, okay, it's not okay. a story I was thinking of. <laughs> no, it didn't. But I want to hear your story. <laughs> I think it is the same story, but I've got confused in which body part that it was in. <laughs> so he was uh, eating dinner with his wife and he thought his new sandals were rubbing. Sandals. Whatever now happens to him, he deserves. <laughs> It says the man that wears Crocs. Not today. <laughs> wow. That's only because we're going out after the show. Then <laughs> <laughs> we get beaten up. Um, so he's wearing his sandals. He's wearing his sandals. And he just thought they were rubbing. Mm. Right? As his toes were getting more and more inflamed. Okay. Right? Um, to the point he couldn't walk on them. Oh, no. So he, he, went to the, he went to the hospital and they removed spider eggs. Uh, oh, on his wedding anniversary as well. Yeah. No toe f***ing for him. Um, oh my god! <laughs> That's his toe after they'd cut the, the eggs out. Make it go away. <laughs> is it made out of cheese? <laughs> is it made out of cheese? <laughs> it looks like it's made out of cheese. <laughs> no, because they had to cut it open. I don't like to it. To remove the eggs. I don't want to see it anymore. Oh, okay then. Right? Um, but the brown stuff around it is, you know, when they, they put the iodine stuff. Uh, iodine on. Yeah. But of course, they, it bruised quite heavily because they had to basically, like a zit. Uh, they had to were there like live it. baby spiders coming out? Just the eggs. Uh, so it's like a milky substance coming out of his toe. Uh, so definitely no talk fucking fame. <laughs> uh, if you put a bit of bacon around it, that's a pig in a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> this little piggy stayed home. <laughs> that's horrible. Did did he did, did, did you see that's a did that's a holiday ruiner that isn't it? You know just, you're not going to go oh let's carry on. Well, it, like, well it, it wasn't until he got back that he had the. Well, that was fortunate that they didn't they didn't go full term and 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 eat, his eat way, the way out the way of out. the skin. Would they've gone through his toe though? Would they gone up? Oh, through his penis. 
Why is it all about penises with you, Mike? <laughs> You're the one that mentioned it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you stopped me at the start of the story going, oh, it is Bellend. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope he's better now. I was about to say his bell and get all <laughs> <No>. better. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Gross. That's, that's all from the buzz this week. That's disgusting. Spiders in your bell end. <sighs> Again, they weren't in his bell end, but stick around because coming up next we have Lee and the bell end, I mean showbiz news. <laughs> You're watching Chew in the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the exciting showbiz with Lee. So, if we were saying that possibly 2023 had like a person of the year, mm -hmm. we might say that Leighton Williams could yeah. could possibly be. Yeah, could be. Because they've been doing really well on Strictly. Mm -hmm. Um that's going to lead to even bigger things. So he's so he's at the moment he's kind of like flavor of of the showbiz world. I'd give him a lick. Would you? Okay. Um, but so he's doing he's doing the podcast rounds, going on all the different podcasts. I was like like a DJ, waka waka waka, like that. Um, and he's been on. Now I didn't know this existed, and I, I'm going to listen to it. So um, he was on the Kathy Burke podcast, which. That, I'm sold already, Kathy Burke. It's where there's a where, where there's a will, there's a way. So it's not just a general podcast. It's about your funeral. So you okay. go on and you talk about what music you want playing, okay. what people you want to go to to kind of like mourn you, okay. what kind of coffee, all that kind of stuff. So cheerful. Um, and um, he was kind of talking about how this year he's had some inappropriate, embarrassing moments mm. uh, happening in his, in his personal life. So he's talking about how his uh, mother found inappropriate items in his house, um, so he's, he's very close to his family, and he has has a flat in London. And when he's off travelling and filming and stuff, his nan and his mum go in and clean it for him. Oh, that's nice. um, and um, they they found he was talking about how um, uh, one embarrassing experience was that he he prefers a certain style of underwear undergarment, which is I think there's quite a lot. You know, there's there's access. To certain areas, Talking about jock strap. possibly something like that. Or oh, I think he quite likes the little tiny frilly little numbers, g strings, and y front. Okay. Y fronts? That's not sexy. Um, and um, he said I had a really Spain embarrassing fetish. <laughs> I had a really embarrassing moment when Nan came to stay with me a few weeks back. We were rushing to get ready, so she was helping me hang out the washing, and I forgot I had my sexy underwear in there. So I went outside, pegged it all out, and there's just like this inappropriate sexy underwear, and I was like, oh my god. Um, and his nan was like, she went, don't worry, darling. We all have them. And what's even worse, he joked, I don't even want the fact that she's got also got sexy underwear. But that's not, that's not the, that's relatively nice. ish, it's embarrassing. It wasn't. But it wasn't just his nan who found um, more personal items. So he said his mother and his sister also found his douche. Okay. Um, so he said, you don't want your mum finding your douche. Actually, she found it the other day, said, before... I did, so he had to explain to, to Kathy, Kathy about what a, a douche was. A douche was. Uh -huh. So it's, it's, it's a device often used by gay men to flush out their anus before sex. Um, he said, don't want my mum finding stuff like that. Uh, no, my sister said that she actually found it, actually. She was looking for some makeup and said that she found it. Uh, I need to stop putting locks on my drawers. That's, that is, that, that, that's kind of like... Top of the list if you're having house guests, isn't it? What? Hide all your stuff. I live out. You have a display cabinet in the bathroom, don't you? Lit. <laughs> Lit. <laughs> and some music. You open the door, it goes ding, 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 <laughs> ding, 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 ding. How lovely. Um, no, it's because what do you expect? You expect a bottom to have a douche, right? Well, and it's a shock. Just, just hang on. Yeah, if you're a bottom, then you had a douche. Your parents don't expect you to be a... Uh, do you, would, does your mother my know you're bottom? My parents know I'm a bottom. Right. Mike the bottom. He has a douche. That's what they say every time you walk through the door, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. No, um, we, we're a very honest family. And so they're aware of practices and things. Well, you don't... Well, again, you don't want your nan to find your 18-inch... Your Black Mambo Fister, just... Well, no, because she's been dead several years. Well, that would be upsetting. That would be upsetting. It's like, 
Not the fact that she's found my, my, my rubbish. That she's returned. It's the fact that she's returned. So, yeah. OK, let's move on to some more serious yeah, yeah. news. Yeah. Doctor Who, you're a fan of Doctor Who. I am a Whovian. You're a Whovian, yes, aren't I you? Am. Yes, I'm not to quite... To the point where I get angry if you tell me anything. Yeah, you do. Me. Although there's no spoilers for this. No, I, I'm not really quite sure why David Tennant's back as Doctor Who. I thought he'd turn to dust and another one had replaced him. He had. I don't understand But it. he came back for the 60th special I don't want with Donna. To... There he is. Hello. There he is. Um, um, and... I'm so happy that um, Bernard Cribbins got a, got to be in it. He's dead. He's it. Yeah, but they filmed it before he, he died. died. Right, he looks very unwell in it, but he still managed to to be in it, which, okay. was, which is beautiful because he's been in Doctor Who a lot and okay. for a long time. So, okay. Well, um, <laughs> David Tennant has reacted because apparently he's raised, he's helped inadvertently raised mm -hmm. thousands of pounds for charity by wearing a Tardish badge. Okay. Um, with the trans flag colours, so you can yes. just see it. It's a tiny little. On, on his on his jumper. So in two recent TV appearances, those are the ones that you can buy. Oh, actually, you can't buy because they're all sold out. Okay. I tried to get them for to, to gift them to you. Oh. Um, and I ended up having to settle for a for a Star Trek one, which I've left at home. Oh, okay. So you <laughs> conveniently, know, whatever. Um, yeah. So in two recent TV uh, appearances, he's worn the badge mm -hmm. as a display of allyship. Um, allyship. 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 Allyship um, just sounds like someone's name. Yeah. Oh, it's Allyship. Allyship. <laughs> um, uh, last leg, and then the one show. Um, uh -huh. And the creator of the badges, which is a gentleman called Dr. Jamie Gallagher, has said that £18,000 has been raised to date for people that have seen him wearing it on mm -hmm. TV shows and then gone and bought the badges. Um, and the money has gone to the Albert Kennedy Trust, which supports LGBTQ plus young people. Yep. Um, and he said that, you know, it's fantastic. And... and um, David Tennant has kind of like said, "Do you know what? It's it, it's a no brainer for for me. I, mm -hmm. You know, I just support the 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 charity. Um, yeah. So he's so that's that's fun. But the, at the moment, they're all sold out. Mm -hmm. he, the, the, he, he he didn't realise they would be so popular, and he made so many. Um, he's going to remake them, and hopefully they'll be they'll be back on sale soon. Uh, David Tennant is, is, is was back for the first of three episodes. We've got him in in." in Another person. Donna Noble. Okay. So Dr. Donna. Dr. Donna. Yeah. Catherine Tate. Catherine Dr. Tate, yeah, yeah. Was there a Dalek in it? Oh. Was there a Cyberman in it? Let's just keep There going. always is. <sighs> okay. Let's go into the last bit. Neil Patrick Harris was in it. Was he? Yeah. I'm not putting spoilers out there. When does when does so uh, when does he turn to dust and then um, the new one come in? End of the third episode. Oh. I didn't think they could regenerate to a past form. And that's what the interesting thing is. I've because, lost interest now. Because in the, <laughs> the last special that David Tennant was with, with uh, Matt Smith, right? Can we just overlay him some music while he's talking? They had <laughs> they had Tom Baker in, right? With, with, the, with the Jelly Baby, right? And they're going, well, maybe we can have revisit your faces. And that's opened up the possibility that you can go back to a previous face. Right. Don't ask questions to which you don't want the answers. Great, cheers, thanks a lot, yeah. Um, so, let's go on to... It's not, it's not a Doctor Who recap show, for God's sake. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was a fan of, of the Trixie, Ma, Trixie, Ma, Ma, Trixie Motel show. Well, yeah. Where you obviously haven't watched it. Where Trixie Motel, drag queen... What do you mean you obviously haven't watched it? Have you? Yeah. Oh, OK. Right. It was a bit shite. Yeah, but that was the... <laughs> that, but, I, but I still would go and visit that place. I know you would, because it was mostly pink. Yeah, and Barbie-themed. Yeah. Uh, well, after the huge success of that, they've been offered another home makeover show um, okay. and with David Silver, which is Trixie Mattel's partner. Um, and it's, it's going to be them... So this is Trixie Mattel and David Silver outside... Um, Trixie Motel, which is making them a huge amount of money. Mm -hmm. um, so he's bought, they've bought together a house to, for them to live in, and they've been approached to um, do their own show, redeveloping their own house. Okay. Um, it's going to be called, um, so that, this is, these is, look, at, well, why would you not want to stay there? It's gorgeous. It's pink. It's pink outside, pink inside. Um, so it's going to be called Trixie Motel, Drag Me Home. And it'll consist of four episodes coming out next year. And um, it's all about them doing their house up. It's also because I didn't realise that this was, you know, Drew and Jonathan Scott, a.k.a. the Property Brothers. We think mm -hmm. we've got a picture of them. They're, they're identical twins. 
That's yeah. the international sign for identical twins. Um, they, they, they are executive producers. Would you do either of those? Both. Both of them together? Well, they look the same, don't they? Where is the picture of them? You didn't send me a picture of them. I thought I did. No. No, okay. Just Google it, people, and see which one you would do. Uh, and that's the end of this week's show with news. Well, thanks for that, Lee. Stick around, because coming up, we have a quiz for Lee in our Game of the Week. You're watching Chew in the Cud. And this week we're going to play Uza Kazoo. And this is for the man who once completed a Rubik's Cube using his nipples. It's Lee. So off you go. You're very sore. <laughs> that. I'm not surprised. Mm. Feeling the stickers off. Game of the Week. So Lee's got his kazoo, or crack pipe as he likes to call it. A list of songs and he's going to try and basically make noises that sound like the songs. Are you ready, Lee? It's a disco kazoo. Look, it sparkles. Right from Studio 54, it's an original kazoo from Studio 54 in in in, in New York New York City. That means you're going to be doing lines of coke off it. Yeah, from from a no, I nearly said something offensive. Um, so what what are you going to say? Something from somebody's asshole. That's not. You mainly do lines of coke off cocks because it's a yeah. line. Oh, okay. Difficult to do a bump off an asshole because it falls in. Yeah. From what I've heard. Okay, let's get on with this. Uh, this is a, this is a nursery rhyme. Okay. From back in the day. Back in the day, well, not one of their modern nursery <laughs> rhymes. Hickory dickory duck. No. You know full well what it is. Stop with duck. your shenanigans. Oh. Now it's me going to something else because you confused me. But that first bit was pretty much what it is. No? No. It was Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle. Cow jumped over the moon. The, moon. the little boy laughed to the see such fun. And such the dish fun. ran away with the spoon. This next one is a theme tune to a popular television program of yesteryear. Okay. <laughs> Got the full version of it then. I think what you were aiming for, you missed, but was it Happy Days? It was! The gallery was singing along to yeah, it. Yeah, and they kept doing, doing in tune, and then you went off on a different tangent. <laughs> okay, let's go with uh, let's go with a pop song. Pop song. Okay. That first little bit again. They do the whole thing, yeah, do the little bit. The, 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 the bit. I quite liked. You like, quite like the did the bit. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. That's it. No idea what it is, but it was not quite. No. Nice. No. It's Wanna Be by the Spice Girls. If you wanna be my lover, you got. If you wanna be my lover, go to the little friends. There you go. No. No. Okay. No. Let's do another nursery run okay. since you did that so well. Okay. I'm half crazy over the love. No. Daisy Daisy. Not Daisy Daisy, you Daisy, tool. Daisy Daisy. No. It was three blind mice. Three blind mice. Three blind mice, see how they run, see how they run, 
He cuts off the tails with the carving knife. Do, 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 do. You don't know the, the I don't know words. them. I don't know them. <laughs> they all run after the farmer's wife who cut off the tails with the, the carving knife. Have you, ever seen such a thing in your life? Have you ever seen such a thing in your life as three blind mates? You're missing words out of oh, this, this song. That's why it's matter. hard to get. Just get with the vibe. Get with the vibe, okay. Okay, this is a theme tune for a festive program of yesteryear. Edmund's house party. Off. Oh. You said to get with the vibe. It's not fing. It's not. It's Noel Edmund's house party. Festive, you did. Festive ones. pain. No, that's a very good rendition. Of what? Of the one you're supposed to be guessing. What? No. No. It's walking in the air. Snow what? Theme show. We're walking in the air. I only know the first bit. First Obviously. Let's move on then. Um, okay, let's do it. Nursery rhyme, because they're so successful. <laughs> no, it's gone into something else now. I don't know that one. Now the elephant went off. No, it was supposed to be patty cake, patty cake. No, do and then what it you turned into Nelly the elephant. It was, it was definitely Nelly the elephant. You I went patty cake, patty yeah. cake. Pat to trunk, because then go up to the, the circus. circus. Yeah, it oh, was. She yeah. went with the trumpety <laughs> trump, trump, trump. Yeah. Um, okay, this is another children's. Yeah. No, I'm doing it twice <laughs> and that's it. I don't know. It was London Bridge. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. Careful. London why, Bridge why is falling down. You sing Silver Shamrock. I added a bit at the Silver end. Silver Shamrock? Yeah, that's from something else, but I just added it at the end. Um, mm, I don't know that one. You don't know any of them. Hang on. It's a song from the... Um, 70s. That yeah. is the only bit I know. Do it again? Oh, I've forgotten it. Hang on. No, boo, boo, I've not even got the gallery having a guess in here. That's unusual. Boo, boo. Uh, Hotel California by the Eagles. Da, 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 Hotel California. <laughs> So you just know the bit that's got the name of the song in it. I just, yeah, that bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this one, I may, uh, it was always on on Saturday night, but gay child, so I never watched it, but it was on. Match of the day. What? Match of the day. Oh, my God. Were you actually butch at some point in your life? What, watching 22 men with good legs running around a football? Oh, okay. Okay. Now, this one, I think, is... It's like um, um, like a school assembly song, possibly. <laughs> that did 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 did. Uh, I might have nodded that because I'm not quite sure how it fin finished. No. Well, you started off with you've got the whole world. Yes, that was it. It's got the whole world in his hat. I don't remember any more of it. Then what? Then it goes like something like, did he? Oh, don't know it's anymore. The same tune repeated. It's got yeah. the whole world in his okay. hands. Got the whole wide world. It's got the small <laughs> fishes in his hands. <laughs> <got the little laughs> big fish in his hands. Okay. Um, this is this is this is um this is another song from the sort of late sixties, early seventies. 
No. Somebody in the gallery was singing along to it. No, they weren't. They, they weren't. Uh, no, no, no. They were saying camera numbers. That was a bridge over troubled waters. Do it again. By Simon and Garfunkel. No, sing, sing what you think it is. Like a bridge over troubled waters, I will lay thee down. I don't know about the thee down bit, me but down. I think it's the I will lay you down or something lay like me that. Down. I will, I will lay me down. Don't know those ones. Um, don't know those ones. You don't know most of these, even the ones you haven't got. Okay, at. right. This was a 60s song, and then it came back in the in the noughties, and it was horrific. <laughs> Is it Show Me A Way To Ram A Dildo? It is the theme tune to your life. Um, yeah. Show me the way to ram a dildo. Do, 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 ba, 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 Every boom, night boom. I was buying okay. my dildo. Um, That's the one ram a dildo deep down okay. inside of me. La, la, this is another. La, this is another la, school. La, school. La, school. La, 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 la. <laughs> oh, ran out of breath there at the end. What was that one then? Oh yeah, um, we're just not going to bother. So uh, stick around because Lee is coming up next with Crafty Queens. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we're going to get really excited, strong word, um, as it's time for Lee and Crafty Queens. So, we are revisiting the timeless favourite of making a bowl out of things. Because it's that, that, that's always been the most popular. But I don't see a bowl in front of us. But we're going to create one. It's the last time we so, made a bowl. So, first of all, you've got a little strip of shiny paper. A strip of shiny paper. Shiny paper. You want to turn that into a little ring, because that we're going to use that as like a base. So just pop a little bit of glue to... Um... Make it a ring. Yeah. So, so I'm going to... So we're going to blow up a balloon. Uh-huh. Um, we doesn't matter what colour you use because it's just the frame. So, just like that kind of size, size of a melon. We need dual water. Hmm? We need dual water. You know, either or, really. Are the different sizes of melon. It could be a very small, small one. Um, now, let me just have so. Yeah, so you want the little balloon nipple balloon. to be at the top. Okay. And then the balloon to kind of rest on the little ring that you've made. Problem is I've got a static charge happening. Yeah. It's it's clinging to me. It, it doesn't want to do it, but it will do. Woo! We might abandon that idea and just kind of go with the... Go with weather. So, um, I have provided you with select... With a select, oh, oh no. And you can't put a hot glue gun on the balloon for it will burst. So you've just perhaps just got to hold it with your fingers. Right. Yeah. Um, I have provided you with a selection of, of coloured wood, wooden bubbles. Cock rings. Wooden rings. Little tiny one, a little tiny penis. Um, what you're going to do is choose a um, ring to start off with. Okay. Hey going to place that on the balloon. Uh -huh. Now, what you're now going to got to be careful. You're going to get you. You've got to have your next ring ready. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, because you're going to put a little bit of hot glue on the 
wooden ring that you've got on the balloon. Uh huh. And oh no! And then put your next ring on that glue. Okay. Hold it for a second or two to dry. Okay. Am I okay to go a little bit rogue? You're going a bit rogue, are you? Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm abandoning this idea straight off. Why? Because I don't need the balloon. But then you won't make a bowl shape. I will make a bowl shape. Yes. So, okay, well, you you, you do your way, Mike, I'm and I'll do the way that was shown on the internet, but, you know, whatever. That's fine. You um, do that way. Um, and then, so you just kind of work your way around using different sizes. Yeah, glue, glue goes on the wood, not the actual balloon. Um, there we go. Um, and I'm going to have to just kind of just... Um, so... We're making this bowl. Yeah. Out of things with massive holes in it. Yeah, but it's not it's not a useful bowl, Mike. I wasn't gonna say you're gonna put anything, you know, it's you're not gonna hold anything in it. It's more decorative. Rather than you see, I'm using the shape of the of the balloon, which is giving me a nice round shape. Uh-huh. Whereas you're just doing whatever you want to do and it won't be a bowl at all. Um Okay. See, what you're doing then is you're casting dispersions upon my skill set. And then, yeah. They have a very specific set of skills. It's quite therapeutic, this, though, isn't it? Is it? Is it? I don't know. Do you mean dull? Dull and monotonous? Then yes. Oh, no, he's fallen. Oh, okay. It's all right. Don't get over dramatically, for God's sake. Um, Just, that would be so unlike you. Oh, no, 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 no. It's going to pop. Ah! Oh my god! Oh, and it's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> um, so we deal with the dramatics on purpose? Or? No, I, there was hot glue uh -huh. blobbed onto the balloon and I thought it was going to pop. Oh, I see. And I didn't want that to happen. I kind of wanted it to happen. Let's have a little yellow one there. And these are just little wooden um, rings rings that you can buy on online, curtain rings. Yeah, there's a lot of waiting around for glue to dry. Well, it should dry very, very quickly. Mine is drying very quickly. <gasps> oh, okay. I'm loving the tension you're building because of the... I don't like that. I don't like the balloon popping thing. I know you don't like balloons popping, but I kind of want it to happen now. This is very much something that you would see on, like, changing rooms with them going, oh, we're going to make these fabulous um, bowls or lampshades and stuff, and it just looks like a pile of old tud. Did you get this off changing rooms? No, I got it off five minute crafts. Never believe five minute crafts. Yeah, because they lie. They never take five minutes. No, it, it's They're always lies. shite. But I'm actually, at the moment, I'm feeling a little bit excited about this because I think it might. Oh, mother. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Oh, I'll give a little one. Little one. No, there. we could do. So I'm just thinking, could could we use this as maybe like a fruit bowl? You could. It could be a fruit bowl. It could be um, large item bowl. Oh, rather than it could be a receptacle for um, like your keys. It could. Um, it. Could... <laughs> yeah, if you put some string on it, it could be a shopping basket. You could take it down and put perhaps bananas or oh, fruit. Yeah, fruit bananas. Said fruit, but yeah. Fruit bananas. Fruit bananas. Other kinds of bananas. Uh, or you could just have it as a lovely thing in your house, just to, just to, um, just to, just to, just, just to bring your pleasure. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, now you can go. You can go forever for this. You could just keep going forever and ever and ever. But I've only got three rings left, so I'm going to glue those on. And I think, I think, due to the the lack of resources, you're done. I had to paint these individually, you know, Mike. They came natural wood. Okay, so we could have had 
natural wood rings. I, but that would be boring. Oh! Don't! Oh! Oh. Oh, it's frightening me. Okay, where shall I put them? Where shall I... <laughs> I'm just going to put my last ring on. And then I think... Oh. How do we feel about this noise? I'm a fan. Do you like that noise? Oh, yeah. Okay. Right, so my... my um. Or my ball is, I just is, told you that. Just to and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna things. turn it upside down. Oh, oh no! Oh no! My balloon stuck to it. Oh no! You're going to pop your balloon. I have nothing to pop it with. Use the ah! glue gun. Oh no! Sorry, 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 sorry. your face balloon might just have to just put a little bit of glue there on that ring oh don't you try it don't you try it ah, I burned myself okay so quite happy with that <laughs> an onion an, uh, oh that's pretty put it on your head see if it looks nice Oh, that's very Lee Bowery. That is. That'll get you some cock. The number of cock rings I've got on my head, yeah. Yeah. So, remember, if you can't get any peen or any vagine or any of those things in between, be a crafty queen. Well then, mm. I think you'll agree that's very retro, that's very yet modern at the same time. And I can see that in... in um, I can see that on Etsy. <laughs> yes, for £400. And not many being bought. And not many, yes, <laughs> it's very niche. I would, you know, if I had more, I'd make it larger. So, I have got, uh, got a cock ring size one. Yeah. So I could pop it on. You could, couldn't you? And have it like a frame around my you could. It would. It could frame it in, in, a, in a delightful fashion. I, if we could... could oh, oh, it's, 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 it's a... It's a gay alien chest burster. I, well, I... Well, with the cock in it, I'm just thinking. Oh, OK. A, ma a, a gimp mask. It's not just I'd wear it as a bra. Because obviously one of my boobs rings. is bigger than the it other. It's a lot more rings. <laughs> there you go. Just another success. Uh -huh. Bring it to you every week. You always bring it, but we never see it. That's almost the end of the show for now. Just remember to join us on our social media. It's at the Cud TV. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again very soon. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.